what is going on everyone we are here for week four of the from the beginning series uh this week obviously we race the mx5 at laguna seca or weather tech raceway as it's referred to as well um it was a pretty interesting week unfortunately we only got time for one race this week so we had some other commitments and we actually felt a little unwell for a couple of days in the middle there so it uh, it kind of put us out of actually being able to do any races so it's a very short video this week guys so i really apologize for that um and we're going to do something a little bit different this week and we're actually just going to review the start of the race from a couple of different angles i just want to show you guys a couple of little things um and then we'll talk about how we finished and obviously the championship standings for the week so very very condensed little probably five to seven minute video here so i um, really appreciate everybody that's been watching these and the track guides each week um it's it's awesome and i really appreciate the support guys um we're looking forward to bringing out quite a bit new new content coming up um we've been in the planning stages this week while we we're unwell so we sort of sat there and and mapped out a couple of things we want to bring to you guys so if you've got any suggestions on things you'd like to see as well please let us know send us a private message on discord or on our social accounts or even just drop it in the comments below we'd really appreciate that so that way we can give you guys exactly what you're looking for um and help you guys to to move forward with your your eye racing and your sim racing in general so let's kick into week four race one's little video all right, guys, so we're just going to go through our race start. So here you can see we actually got the pole position, and we had a pretty decent start, but the car behind us was kind of pressuring us. So we, we went the defensive line into one, and we actually probably drove a little bit too deep into the corner. Now, with cold tyres, that actually magnified the situation in us pushing forward past a point where it felt a little bit too uncomfortable. Okay, so this is the same start, just from a different view. As you can see, I'm on the inside, I brake late, but you see how I drive deep into the corner and you can hear off the throttle for a long period of time. So, loss of understeer, had to control it. But now I just want to show you the starting line with cold tyres. These cars behind me do drive into the corner quite deeper than me past turn one. But as you can see, what they gain on me on the entry, I actually disappear a little bit on the exit. So I'm able to roll the center of the corner a little bit more and actually magnify the exit speed of them. So watch, he comes really deep in. Yes, they have a little battle, but look at the gap I actually pulled because I'm able to get to the apex and pick that throttle up and straight away where the guys are driving deep in and then having to wait for the car to rotate more. So prioritizing the way you actually drive the corner is a massive thing that will help you huge in these races, especially at the start with colder tyres. It just doesn't seem to have the effect. Same here, they make a huge gain on me. And then look, I'm able to drive out of the corner quicker than them. One guy actually spins on the kerb on the inside, which is really unfortunate. But you can see the gains that I'm making made a little mistake there by pushing too early same but as you can see i'm pulling away from them because i'm driving out of the corner not into the corner so that's just something to keep in mind especially on cold tires at the start of the run guys all right guys so this is race one's results for week four and it's not been too bad for us yet again we're in that second split and we were car five so we're right in that halfway point we seem to be taking a slight step forward each race but we're only moving forward like one position so um that's not too bad i'm pretty happy with the progress so far uh so we won that race by 7.7 .7 seconds um 99 championship points which is a huge point score for us for the week so my sort of average that I want to try and achieve is 100 points a week. If you can achieve 100 points a week in a in a pretty standard sort of 1,600 to 2,000 strength of field, you're having a pretty good week of racing. So if you if you score more than that, fantastic. But that 9,900 points that'll put you in a very good position come week eight when we start to actually um, equate drop rounds into that. So pretty happy with that. Um, race pace average was very fast compared to others around. So 39.5 is our average lap. Uh, next closest was a 40.3. So obviously our fastest lap, we were second fastest. Yeah, so second fastest. So a little bit of time to find, um, definitely. 
Uh, but overall, really happy with that. So it's a decent start for the week. Alright guys, so after we only were able to complete the one race this week, we'll just take a look at the season standing so far. So we're in week four. Uh, so we've had four starts, uh, four weeks count, six starts and five wins. So pretty solid start to the season. Um, this is the all drivers championship at the moment. So out of 19,470 drivers, we're ranked 89th in the world. So that's um, that's a pretty cool little number there. To be in that top 100 out of nearly 20,000 drivers is awesome. Obviously, there's a lot of drivers that don't do um, every week and stuff like that. So even if you'd say only a quarter of that's completed actual every week so far, um, it's still a pretty sort of cool achievement to be in that place at the moment. So, and then as we look at rookie, I think we were P5 or P6 last week in the standings. Um, so we are now P2. Okay, cool. So we've made a nice little jump there. So we've moved up quite a few spots. Um, we are looking at about a... About a 47, 48 point gap at the moment. So, decent size gap to the leader. Um, but there is quite a variance in race starts between us. So, by week four, if you'd actually run your four races per week, we should be on 16 starts for the week. So, the guys around us has had way more than four starts per week. Um, so, that will hurt their point average as we get closer towards the end of the season. Um, yeah, very interesting. So quite happy with that at the moment. So looking pretty solid. So we'll kick into week five this week and uh, hopefully get us a little bit closer to the front of this championship. 